So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. And for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, but wish to, you can come check me out. Um, Punky Rooster, where the, the O's are replaced with zeros because some cooler person than I did got on Instagram and many other social outlets, media outlets first and took the Punky Rooster screen name, <laughs> the username. So it's Punky Rooster, where the O's and Rooster are replaced with zeros. Um, so anyway, that's a thing. Uh, if you want to check me out on Instagram, you get to see updates or little sneak previews of projects, little projects that I'm working on. You'll also see pictures of tasteful side boob and of course where I pimp my latest keto detoxing teas and make buku bucks doing that. But in any case, let's continue with this video. So this is, uh, this is an interesting thing. So we bought the, just this bag of carrots from the grocery store and they were so delicious. I can't express how delicious these carrots were. They were super sweet, super wonderful. And you usually don't get that from supermarket, you know, grocery store bought carrots. But we're like, we really want to grow these carrots. So what I did was I just took, I kept the very tops, of course, ate the carrots. And I've been keeping them in water. And uh, I didn't necessarily, ha I have them in the sun now in a sunny window. This is a southern facing window because they started putting on green. But I didn't do that. I kept them in a warm place until they started showing signs of sprouting. And you can actually see, if you look carefully, little roots coming out. So that these are these are rooting, these are putting on growing new plants. Now, of course, regrowing, you've probably seen videos and, and pictures and all everywhere on the internet of people regrowing various fruit, uh, various plants from, from the vegetable, like fruit, fruit and, and vegetables from the supermarket because it is such a thing that people post on the internet, <laughs> gardening people do. Now, of course, you can't regrow a carrot. That taproot will never regrow. But what you can do is if you really like a carrot, you can sprout the top again, grow the plant, and then just grow that plant for seeds. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So hopefully, if everything goes well, I'm going to get lots of roots. I'm going to transfer them to this pot, which had ginger. And technically, it still does have ginger. This is the ginger I harvested, but the, the roots that I replanted have not sprouted yet. In my experience, it takes a little while for, for ginger to re-sprout like that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to double use this pot. So I'm actually going to put the carrots in here once they've developed enough of a root system, keep them well watered. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be growing these gorgeous carrot plants in my window and I'll be harvesting the seeds. Now, since we're sitting here, I'm going to share with you a plant that I never talk about. <laughs> so I want to say I have these light blocking windows, which is really nice because it makes this perfect little solarium or something where the light coming in from a south facing window bumps up against this white, reflects back to the plants. And this actually keeps this area nice and warm all winter. It becomes its own like little greenhouse. And I need to do that to keep this lemon tree going. Now, having said that, though, when it gets really, really cold, because these are 100 year old single pane windows, even with plastic on top of them, it still gets a little cold in here. So during the coldest parts of the year, this plant usually dies back even in front of the window. But, um, you know, it's a lemon tree. And the only reason why I have this silly thing is because uh, a friend of mine gave me this. She tried to grow it on a porch. And of course, it's like impossible to grow citrus here. Even indoors, it can be very difficult. But um, so I got this as a gift. And I, I've I've kept it going for many years at this point, but it's not really doing great. It's produced a fruit a couple times, but the fruit never stays on. It decides to flower at weird times of the year. Like I'll bring it outside, it'll go pretty good. Then I'll bring it in for the fall and then it'll flower. It'll try to fruit. There won't be enough daylight to keep it going. And then it drops all its fruit and basically dies off. This plant has like died and come back to life like a hundred times. It's amazing. It's basically immortal. Um, but I keep going. I'm hoping eventually someday I'll have some place to put this where I'll actually be happy 365 days a year. But I recently cut it back. This is actually a huge, huge tree. But I actually went at very strategic points. I cut them way back. So it's basically just going to be like a lemon bush at some point. Or I may try to rehome it because I don't know if I'll get around to it. Like I dreamt that someday I'd have like a proper greenhouse, maybe even a heated one, that this could live in. But right now it's living in a five-gallon bucket in my southern-facing window. I think its name was Lemmy or Lenny. It had a name. It came to me with a name. I forgot the name. But I never talk about this plant because it's just like, is it a success story? Is it a failure? I don't really know. It just keeps going and I keep it on life support, basically. So it's actually kind of cruel and creepy. 
Anyway, enough talking about this. So anyway, if you find carrots or other veggies that that you really, really like, it, even if it's from the supermarket, go ahead and save it. I mean, a lot of plants can be regrown. Like you can do this with celery um, to grow more celery or just to have seeds. You know, if there's potatoes you particularly like, I've kept potatoes that I've enjoyed and used them as seed potatoes. There's a lot you can do to regrow plants because plants are so, that's what I love about plants. They're so, re, they're so regenerative. You know, they, they can survive a lot. They're very hardy and they can come back and be reborn and live entirely new lives. It's really amazing. So anyway, enough babbling from me. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey. Bye-bye.